welcome to our very first screencast for WP Method. Today we're going to learn how to sync Dreamweaver with a WordPress themes directory. Now the reason why this is important is so that you can connect directly to the files on your server to edit the template um, and style sheet and things like that uh, rather than having to use a third-party FTP or use the theme editor from the back end of WordPress. Now there are a lot of other code editors that are very popular but Dreamweaver is pretty popular especially among newer developers and so and it is the one the tool that I like to use so we're going to go over that how to do that today it's pretty simple so just follow along the first thing you need to do is we have Dreamweaver open so let's go ahead and start a new site this little button up here will give us take us directly to where we need to go just click on new sites now when it first opens up you're going to see the basic editor but this is a wizard and, you know, it's faster just to get straight to the things that you need to edit rather than answering a bunch of their questions. So let's click on the Advanced tab. Now we're going to name our site uh, WP Method Test Blog. And then we want to point the local root folder to the folder on our, on our computer where our files are going to be stored. Now bear in mind that this will be the same folder on your computer that actually holds the folder for the theme. So for instance, if you have three different themes that you're working on on one blog, you'll have a parent folder, which is the last one in your directory here, that will contain all three of those themes. That's all you have to set up for your computer, so now let's connect to the server. Go over here and click on Remote Info, and then from the Access drop-down menu, choose FTP. Now you can insert your FTP connection information. Now we can click on test to make sure that that information is correct. Looks like we're connected. So let's go out and look at the remote view of our site that we just created on Dreamweaver and see what it says. So as you remember, the thing that we're wanting to connect to is the themes directory onto the server because we want that to be synced with our local themes directory. Now we connected right to the root of WP method, so what we want to do is to take it directly to the theme directory. The site we're working with is called Test Blog, which is in the Test Blog directory of WPMethod.com. And then underneath that is the WP Content folder and then the Themes folder. This is the directory that we're trying to connect to because it holds all of our themes, just like the directory on our computer holds all of the themes that we want to save and work with. So as you can see, when we connect through the site that we just set up, it's not getting us straight to this folder, which is where we want to go. So now we have to manage the settings that we just created on our site and change them a little bit. You can do this by clicking on the drop down menu and then choosing either manage sites or just clicking on it again. Then it brings you straight up to where you need to be. So this brings you straight to the settings that you need to change and we're going to go back to the remote info tab. Right here in the host directory input is where we need to type out the directories that where we're trying to connect. Now in a typical Linux hosting, that your host directory is going to start with something like public underscore HTML. But since this blog is installed a little bit differently, we're going to be able to type directly where we want to go and skip the root folder. We're already there. So we want to go to the directory where it's installed at test blog, and then we want this, the content folder, and then finally the themes folder and click OK. Now we can connect again to remote and we can see that we're directly in the themes folder. Since I'm only working on this as a test situation for this for the purpose of the screencast I don't actually have these files on my computer yet so I'm going to go ahead and download 2010 and we, so we can see how well this works. Now 
Now I can go to my documents and see that it's downloaded the directory exactly where I want it to be. Here's my documents, then my WP method folder, finally my test block folder, and here's the 2010 theme I just downloaded. If we go back into Dreamweaver and look at local view, we'll see that as well. So now that we have our theme set up, it's pretty simple to go ahead and change things. 2010 is a pretty intuitive new theme that comes with WordPress 3.0, and it lets you ch change a lot of major settings um, to the design from the actual back-end panel, such as the background color and things like that. So let's just make a subtle change. As you can see, all of the main body text is set to Georgia, but let's change it to a sans serif just for the purpose of this screencast. Now we can get, simply go ahead and save the change that we just made and then use these arrows to put, or the arrows over here, if we select this file, we can use the arrow right here and it'll put it to the server. Now we can check our new blog and you can see where it's currently Georgia, but if we refresh, it changes it to Arial. So now you know how useful it can be to be able to directly Edit your template files in an editor like Dreamweaver and then connect directly to your site to make those changes commit committed to the server.